This video is going to help make Ubuntu desktop look like macOS Ventura. This is a step-by-step -step customization of the GNOME desktop. You can use this guide to turn any GNOME distro look like macOS Ventura. For the sake of this video, I will be using Ubuntu 22.10 now this guide will also work on Ubuntu 22.04. Now without further ado, let's get started. Now before starting, if you enjoyed this video, please like and help the YouTube algorithm to make this video visible to more people. Alright, as you can see, this is the fresh copy of Ubuntu 22.10 running on my Intel MacBook Pro. I'm going to make it look like macOS Ventura in a few minutes. Now first things first, go ahead, open the terminal and update the package list by running this command. Once it's done, go ahead and install Timeshift by running this command. Timeshift is a backup tool that allows capturing the snapshot of the system. Now this way, after installing the Mac OS theme, if anything goes wrong, this backup will help to revert back to the Ubuntu desktop. Now under the user directories, make sure to backup the entire root system. Then go ahead and click on Capture to take a snapshot of the Ubuntu current state. Now once it's done, type these commands one after the other which installs the GNOME Shell Extension Manager GNOME tweaks and the git command. Now open your favorite browser, head over to this website and copy this URL. Then inside a terminal, type git clone and paste the URL to clone the repository. Then cd into the newly downloaded directory. Then inside here, you will see a script file. Look for the installer script and run it. The developer of the script offers options and helps to install multiple flavors of Mac OS themes. Now run this command to know the usage of the script file. You can also refer to GitHub to learn more about the usage of options and arguments. For now, I will make it simple. I'm gonna run the script file with dash "-m", for Monterey style, then type dash "-t", and pass an argument all that will install all accent colors of a theme. The dash L option adds support for libadvata, and the dash N option with an argument stable makes the Natilis file manager look classic. And lastly, use these two options to make GTK applications look better and rounded. Then execute this script to start installing all the things we need. Now once it's done, it's time to run the tweak script as a root user. The dash g option is used to theme the GNOME Display Manager. And that's it, now we are done installing the themes and accent colors. Now back to the web browser, go to this link and download the macOS Ventura icon pack. Once it's done, double click on the file. Choose the home directory, then press Ctrl plus H to see the hidden folders. Now create a directory inside the home and name icons. 
make sure the name starts with a dot which makes a hidden folder. Now head over to the app drawer and search for tweaks and open it. Here choose appearance, then change the icons to Cupertino Ventura. Then select the shell and choose the white stir dark with any accent color you fancy. For now, I will use the default dark theme. And lastly, choose applications and set the theme the same as the shell theme. And voila, now you can see the entire GNOME desktop look like Mac OS. It's not yet finished, we need to polish the UI to make it much better. For that, I'm gonna install a few extensions, open GNOME Extensions Manager, then click on Browse. Using the search bar, type Blur, and choose Blur My Shell, and install it. Now this will blur the GNOME shell. Now once it's done, I'm gonna install another extension called Quick Settings Tweaker. Now this helps to add more toggles to the Quick Settings panel. And lastly, go ahead and install Comfy's Magic Lamp Effect, which will give a genie effect to the window manager whenever you minimize or maximize. Now open the Settings Manager, choose Ubuntu Desktop, and change the position of the dock to the bottom. Also, it's better to disable the panel mode. And lastly, I'm going to head over to this link and download the Mac OS Ventura wallpaper and apply it. And that's it. This is how you customize Ubuntu 2110 or 2204 to look like Mac OS Ventura. If in case you decide to remove the Mac OS theme, open the terminal and run the installer script with dash "-r", and dash "-u", options. Now this will delete all the install themes and accent colors. Then run the tweak script with the dash "-r", option to remove the GDM theme. Then use the tweaks application and change to the Yaru theme. Now reboot the Ubuntu system. Now this is one method of removing the Mac OS theme but it's not going to work very well. So it's better to use the time shift backup and restore the Ubuntu to its original state. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Rail. I will catch you in my next one.